that I've filled with watercolour, gouache and all kind of mixed media art. While I'm painting the last spread of my little notebook, I want to share why I made this journal. As an artist and art instructor, my job is to create. And once the pandemic started spreading and the news became darker and darker, my little art studio didn't feel as inviting as before. It felt like I didn't have the right supplies, the right moment or the right inspiration or ideas. I saw artists documenting the crisis, drawing masks, medical people, the virus, all that has been happening around the world. But for me, art has always been the escape from the mundane. Even if I had a career as a software engineer, I'm quite a romantic person, focusing on the inner world. And as an artist, I have let that take over my art and my art classes as well. So when I was standing in the middle of my studio, feeling totally uninspired, I gave myself a permission to create anything, anything, usually presenting a challenge to create something spectacular makes me start. But I chose the other way this time. I would only paint what would be easiest for me. So I picked some leftover paints and an empty traveler's notebook that had watercolour paper. I removed many of its pages so that it felt manageable and then started painting the covers. Instead of COVID-19 colours, greyish teals and murky browns and reds, I chose screaming pink and green. Instead of thinking about the news, I got inspiration from Jane Austen's romance novels and films based on them. Earlier this year, I had seen the TV series Sanditon. In March, I saw the movie Emma. And just recently, I listened to an audiobook called The Other Bennett Sister. Janice Hadlow had written the book and it's about Mary, the little sister of Lizzie from Bride and Prejudice. When working on this journal, I have been able to live inside a happy bubble momentarily. It's been refreshing and my inner critic has got gentler. I have gained new inspiration for my paintings and classes and I'm currently building a new art class called Deco Dashery. It's about painting decorative flowers, lace, cream cakes, hats and whimsical ladies in bright and cheerful colours. My art has not always been so decorative, but the pandemic has made me embrace what's easy and fun and also what feels natural to me. I come from eastern Finland, near the Russian border, and even if I now live in the south, near the capital city Helsinki, I have always loved colours and complexity, while Finnish usually like white and minimalistic designs. My rainbow journal, as I have started to call this little notebook, has nothing visually minimalistic and it's okay. Life is too short not to get back where my roots are. When the pandemic crisis started, I thought that I have to create art that is deep and spiritual. 
And I have done that too. But it's kind of surprising that the images that I want to create and see nowadays are often bright and light-hearted ones with some reference to history. It feels consolating that we humans have a long history and that a few months or even a few years is a short time when it's put into perspective. But for the last spread of the journal, I wanted to add a glimpse of a bright future, a fancy horse, a rainbow and flowers that bathe in the sunlight represent upcoming happy days. I hope this little rainbow journal inspires you to create yours too. Thank you.